Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. And in the last tutorial, I told something about what to do with the pointers and arrays to some advanced level. I mean, I will. I, I'm talking about uh, like uh, this arrays and pointers now. Also, because uh, later I'll be talking about the files. And when I'm talking about the files, you need to know much about the pointers and arrays. Then you know already. So it's better to be kind of perfect. And I'll be telling you guys some important and some logical kind of things that you need to do with the pointers and arrays that I didn't even cover yet and I'll be talking something on strings too so like in strings you use so many things like string copy, string catenation, string compare I'll be talking about those too so you guys don't have to worry at all and in this video I like to uh, wait f I'll write something first of all and then you guys will know what I'm doing now suppose if I write something like this what is that? think what it is and if I write something like this now what will it be? Hmm. what is the difference between these two lines? well what this will do is uh, it will create a array of four 8 pointers Okay, but what this will do is uh, it will create a array of 8 integers and this here will point to the starting of the array that is uh, here is array of pointers will be created where here a pointer pointing to the array will be created here you are putting brackets so the preference will be given to the pointer here so first a point is created and is pointed to an integer array here here no preference for that so first of all this will be taken so array will be created and then a pointer will be pointed so you guys have to know the difference so what this will do is it's crea it creates a pointer pointing to the array here we are using this to make sure that okay understand the difference between those uh, now say if you wanna uh, what uh, you wanna equate this mm, wait a second let's create a 2d array holding two rows and two columns so now let us equate this directly mm, all this no need to do this but uh, let's do something else so let's create an array called a with two rows and two columns and then let's give the values like you know how to give there are many ways to give so let's give it like this this time mm, three and four don't forget to put dot brackets in between the braces too I mean comma in between the braces and let's create a pointer star pointer you can write anything any name that you want now you have to write here wait for clearance it's better for putting three here instead of two so you can clearly understand the difference of what from what I'm doing okay now let's create another like five and six Okay, now here write 2 okay now what this will do is uh, it will create a pointer pointing to an integer array holding two integers okay now that is uh, we can either point it to the first row or the second row or the third row got it because each row is having two elements so this pointer can point to any row not whole array but it can point to any particular row so that's why these kind of pointers are used to point any particular row got it now let's say what you want to do is you want to print those numbers using that so now what you can do is uh, you can create another pointer and then if you want to print that using mm, all you have to do first of all make sure that you will make the pointer equal to yeah otherwise the pointer won't be pointing to the starting right and now hmm, equal
activate this I'll be telling you guys what this will do in this video uh, if not possible I'll be telling you in the next video so don't worry at all and I think this is fine this is fine so yep and now let's print mm, equals to zero i less than how many times you need only two to be printed for now like I'm printing the first row so just right it's printing what the values right so use person D what you have to do is uh, using the put and then value at the p add it and i ok let's see what it will print first of all oh it's showing some problem mm, primary expression before something is taken some fine and it's showing us only the first row here got it so now what we are doing here is uh, mm, first we created this one what 2d array with three rows and two columns and what we did here is we created a pointer pointing to a particular row what 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 this is is it's a pointer pointing to it single dimension array having two integers ok so here we initialize at the pointer and we made uh, the this pointer pointing to the what, first row here first row of this array and then here we use this actually this is called type casting and what this will do is uh, I think it's better to tell in the next tutorial because first of all let me cover this and now we are using a loop to print the first array ok and now in the while printing you have to increment the pointer I told you guys about uh, pointer incrementation right if you do p++ what it will do is it will increment to the next I mean, uh, data object by looking at the size of the object that we are dealing with now we are using integers so 4 bytes it will jump by 4 bytes and it will go to the next one first it will print one and then it will go to the next two now if you want to print you can directly use uh, how many are the total elements are six so you can use six I think it will now print everything directly all the elements printed all the elements and I think this is it for today's tutorial in the next tutorial I'll be continuing this same problem so don't worry and that's it for today's tutorial and don't forget to subscribe guys